down at the Lockets Boxing Gym. I'm here now with the former world champion Enzo Macanelli. How's it going, Enz? Yeah, good, thank you, buddy. Uh, just a quick update because uh, we haven't seen anything of you since the Bremer fight. Can you tell us what's uh, been going on? Yeah, you know, obviously, yeah, when I was having the Bremer fight, I uh, had a little time off. Um, been training, carrying a few injuries, uh, a few niggles, uh, which all seem to be sorted now. Um, I don't think people know, but the, the Bremen fight could have happened again twice. Uh, but he opted to uh, take someone else twice, so you know I've sort of been left in limbo. But I'm, I'm on March the 14th now, and um, nice to be back down with Gary Lockett and uh, in, enjoying it again. Yeah, but going back to the Bremen fight ends. Um, the, you know when you had the uh, the cut of the lump to on your head. When he was hitting you in that in that fight. Could you feel that? No, nah, the, the adrenaline. The adrenaline's pumping. I, I didn't think yet that hard. I know his right was suggesting a punch up, but you know, it was I uh, had so many injuries leading up to that fight and I'm not gonna go into them and I went no use now, nothing excuse for having the ice, it didn't. Um, but we had so many injuries a week before me and Gary sat down, you know, I was thinking of pulling out, I thought, you know, something's telling me not to be, not to go through with this, but you know, I thought to myself, no, I can still beat him, I know I can still do it. I was fit, I was strong. Um, in the change room there was flying, uh, on the pads I felt great, got in the ring, I felt brilliant, he wasn't gonna beat me that night and that happened in the first round and you know, I was well, I was I was chasing him from there onwards. You know, I think I quit him myself well with one eye, uh, but it's not a lot I could have done like No. Uh, the rematch is that something still on? I'd, I'd love to, you know. I, the, like I said, we've been talks twice. Um, it got down about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and I ended up picking someone else. And um, you know, it just left me a little bit deflated. But uh, now, nah, like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying it now. Training and stuff like that. How's that going? Yeah, fit as a fiddle. Um, first day back in Gary's today. Uh, he always tried to push me first day, see if I've uh, been telling the truth and been doing my training, which I do, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but like I said, enjoying, just sat back watching Liam, Liam Williams and Alex, he was doing a bit of sparring as well, so just just enjoying the sport. Yeah, March the 14th, hope you'll be back out. Any uh, names of the opponents or anything? Uh, they've been, they've been uh, rumoured a couple. Um, I can't say yeah, because I, I don't really know, but uh, it could be decent. Yeah, and uh, what show was that going to be on then? then? Uh, it's up in Witness, I think um, Orville McKenzie is defending his title against Matty Askin. Um, it's just, just basically I need to get back out, I need to get back out, I've been out in 10 months. Um, I'm sat on my ass for 10 months, but you know, I just need to get back in the ring again. Yeah, what about ticket sales and stuff like that, is that important for you? Um, not so much ticket sales, uh, but you know, if we, if we if we had a show in Wales, we had a show in Swansea, even you know, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure we'll pa we'll pack any place out. And uh, but you know, I just need to I just need to get back in the ring, and you know, I don't care if they cheer for me, boo me. Hopefully they cheer for me, but um, I just need to get back in that ring. Uh, if you did have a big show in Wales, uh, everybody's been talking about you and uh, Nathan Cleverly. Is that a fight you'd like to have? Yeah, of course it would. It's um, you know, uh, we used to be teammates. We don't really get on anymore. Um, you know, uh, I, I think it'd probably be one of the biggest fights Wales have seen. You know, between two Welsh boys, especially between two Welsh boys, two four, former world champions, two um, two ex teammates. I think um, I'm obviously going to say Swansea because it's my hometown, but I think if we put that in the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. I think we fill it out. So you know, I'm definitely up for it. Whether it is, I don't know. Can that can that actually be made with you know you being with separate promoters? Can that fight still be made? I, I suppose it could be made if the demand's enough, and uh, you know obviously they'd have to work a few things out. But um, you know it'd be it'd be a, a great event for Swansea, for for me and Nathan myself. You know I think it's a it's a big money fight for the two of us, and uh, I think the, the the crowd atmosphere would be amazing. Yeah, and uh, Nathan's last performance against uh, Tony Bellew. What do you think of that? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not here to criticise. I'm not here to slag anyone off. It is what it is. Um, uh, I, I, I don't really want to comment too much on it. Yeah. Uh, the fight that could be made now ends. What would it be at? Uh, like the heavy? Uh, whatever. I can make a two. I've always have been. You know, it's a lot of ifs and buts to that. I think I'm fighting in March. I think he's fighting in April. Um, you know, obviously, both have got to come through with him. Um, but you know, I, I, I still can make cruiser. I never really made cruiser anyway. And I was always light for the weight, and I make I make light every day comfortably enough. Um, so whatever. Yeah. All right, then. Well, uh, best luck for March 14th. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate your time as always, and uh, hopefully I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, pal. Thank you.